I just got this DeWalt pressure washer from Home Depot. It's electric. I wanted something that was, I, I didn't need a big brute of a pressure washer and didn't want a little portable carted around in your hand type pressure washer. So I settled on this as a kind of middle ground and it's uh, 2400 PSI, 1.1 gallon per minute. It came beautifully packaged, uh, pretty much ready to go right out of the box. You just uh, attach the handle and hook up your hoses and stuff and you're set to go. Uh, it comes with four or five nozzles uh, for different types of operation including a turbo that's for cleaning pavement. I can probably use that at home. And it, uh, it's very nicely balanced. It's a good design. It's easy to roll around, uh, not cumbersome at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to some water and some electricity and give it a try. One thing I really like is that it comes with a built-in soap container uh, to mix with the spray, which is kind of handy rather than just sticking a tube in a jug or something. Uh, we'll see how that works too. We'll give that a try with some uh, simple green, something like that. It comes with a nice long power cord, so maybe you can avoid using a extension cord with it. Uh, the length of this combined with the length of the hose lets you get a pretty good distance to whatever it is you're trying to pressure wash. It of course has a built-in ground fault interrupt device on the plug, which is normal these days. It's got a big old on-off switch that you're not going to mistake for anything else. Not hard to find. Comes with a nice little chart that tells you what each of the nozzles do and what they're capable of cleaning. The switch and see what it does. I assume that's normal. Very nice. Very nice. Now I'm going to try cleaning up this kayak over here that sat outside for ages. Um, see if it'll get some of this old mold mildew stuff off of it. I'm pleased with what it did on a first pass. As you can see, I've cleaned the right hand side of the kayak, not the left hand side. Uh, there are still some stains and that sort of thing on the right hand side. Uh, it seemed like with this particular tip, doing more pressure washing really didn't accomplish anything additional. Uh, couldn't get these stains out of the front end, so now I'm going to work with some soap and maybe some bleach and see what that does. The soap attachment doesn't really provide much um, pressure for cleaning. It's simply uh, spray soap all over whatever you point it at. It uh, seems to do that well. You get a nice wide disbursement. So I'm going to put this on here and let it soak for a little bit and then come back and do this other side. Uh-oh, with the pressure. See, that's another nice feature that when you let go of the handle, it uh, shuts itself off. I can't see that the soap approach really did much good. Uh, not the machine's fault, it's just that uh, what's left on here is stains that are probably going to need some uh, chemical treatment. 
so I'm gonna try some bleach and I got some wet it and leave it stuff or something like that and I don't remember what it's called but I'll try some of that stuff and just see what works and here's the other side before any type of cleaning I did spray the soap on it uh, so I'm gonna go after it again with the green tip I think it's a 15 degree tip something like that um, and we'll see if having put the soap on it makes any difference in ease of cleaning I switched over to the 15 degree tip and it is definitely more aggressive and does a better job than the one I was using the 25 degree tip they say it's for masonry, so I was kind of concerned that it might be too much for this plastic, but it's not. It's doing a great job. It's like using an eraser on this stuff. Very nice. 